Cocoa used to be the main cash crop for the people of Yanguru Sausia in the Hisipic province. But that changed after the cocoa port borrower disease crippled the cocoa market in the country and affecting cocoa growers and farmers. For the last three years, the Yanguru Sausia Cocoa Development Project was trying to revive cocoa farming in the district. This is a project that we have started on our own. Thinking long, mebla, mebla la lo pleasure, mebla initiate him this la onemia without kiss him, help him long, all the PIA na one mol na pro relevant agencies long support him la one time la project. This is the nursery where the clone cocos have been planted to combat the pot borer disease. It was officially opened last Friday by the two opposition leaders. Chairman Isaiah Sanduma, who initiated this project, believes it will be a success in helping the community. This la kakao emina blong fight against him, koko bot pora, which em affect him kakao blong mibla na mibla kisim biglo bagrab. Em lo this la luglu this la ting ting em as blong mibla start him this la necessary now. Agriculture has contributed to the development of the country's economy since independence. However, in the last ten years, the agriculture sector has not been contributing effectively and has seen a drop of its gross domestic product from 40 percent to 25 percent. This is a shame to this nation where you may be building law agriculture. We empower living man Mary or generations where in Papua New Guinea through agriculture, nothing else. A draft legislation known as the Agriculture Administration Adjustment Act has been set up to rebuild the agriculture sector. And with major agriculture projects set in the East Sipic province, people with skills are now needed to further improve these projects. Stanley Over Jr. National MTV News.